Yee, yeah, it's your boy Gruff here, back with another video, and today, I got a special video for you guys, man, today we're going to be talking about the V-Jump uh, that we got for Legends, now, I don't really see that many people covering it, so I'm going to just hurry up and try to cover it, um, just as quick as possible and everything, this is going to be a really short video, but we do have V-Jumps and they do have a Legends part, so if we do check it, there, uh, from this, you guys can see that we're going to get a Zenkai free to play spirit bomb goku yes sir this man is going to get a zenkai you guys can see it here with all the letters and stuff and shout out to miguel um he's a dragon ball legend japan guy and he's really good at translating these things so yeah we're just we're going to cover the Dra dragon ball legends thing we're not going to cover dokkan because we don't play dokkan around here you feel me but uh yeah i mean it's a good game but i just don't play it right so we care about legends you feel me so yeah so we're gonna go here this is like the translation for the free-to-play Spirit Bomb Goku. So it says, free-to-play Spirit Bomb Goku awakens Zenkai. Zenkai Awakening Z abilities are blue in episode Frieza arc, Frieza Saga arc. So it's for blue Frieza Saga arc. So pretty much, so pretty much, <laughs> who's the best like blue Frieza arc uh, unit in the game right now? Uh, I mean, Goku, right? So it's interesting that they did blue and Frieza Saga instead of doing blue Saiyans because if it was another blue Saiyans uh, Z ability, uh, I mean, Zenkai ability, that would have been nuts. They would have had three units with blue, blue, Zenkai Blue Sand. It would have been Bardock, Namku, and him. But the unique ability is to restore energy and increase damage when it appears on the field. So that looks pretty interesting. That's really interesting. We're actually going to go and check him out right now. See what he does and everything. Just check out his stats and what, what I feel like he can he can bring to the table. Uh, so let's just take out, let's take out this team. Just take it out. And we're going to go another no, uh, go here. We're going to just talk about his, some of his things that he brings to the field. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Where are you? Uh, yeah, you're right here. Okay, okay. So we're going to go here. Okay, so let's talk about Let's check out his stats. This, I have him maxed out. And the, the way for you to 14 star this man is with rare medals and stuff like that. So, okay, so we're going to go here. This is his stats as a defensive unit. He is a defensive Saiyan unit, so that's pretty interesting because we don't really have we don't really have that many defensive Saiyan units, right? Like, I guess Green Broly is one, but they don't really release a lot of defensive Saiyan units, right? So it's interesting that this guy is gonna be pretty much look like a tank. His stats right now is trash. Like he's at a 1.149 uh, power level. That's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. But he carries two blasts. Okay, so that means he's more, but he's a strike oriented unit. That's actually going to be kind of iffy right here. That's going to be pretty iffy right there. So let's go here. I do like that he has the spirit bomb. I really like that because we don't really have any units that does the spirit bomb. A Goku unit that does the spirit bomb besides him, right? I guess you could say I love Super Saiyan 3 does it with his old card, but as a blue card, I think he's the only one that really does it. I guess you could count the purple one that does the one-handed spirit bomb Goku, but not really many units that has the spirit bomb animation. So that would be pretty dope. Now, I feel like what they can do with this, they're gonna make this a massive damage, a massive explode damage. And I feel like it's going to like, it's gonna be that one where it can go through a lot of other blue cards. So say if y'all y'all do a, like someone does a Kamehameha and you pop the spirit bomb, I feel like that's gonna go through that. I feel like that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna make it a massive and it's gonna be able to go through some other uh, spirit, like other blue card animations when you guys pop at the same time. Notice here that it has a 30% chance to inflict faint on hit. So that's gonna be pretty annoying, right? So his pose thing, he does damage inflicted, which is not bad. I feel like they're gonna add some other stuff, maybe get key, maybe health, maybe increase the damage inflicted. Uh, I don't think they're gonna touch the strike and blast. So let's check out his unique ability. Now this guy only has one unique ability. He only has one unique ability. Compared to the other Sparkers, they have two unique abilities. This guy has one unique ability. So they're gonna have to rework this and add three more unique abilities to this guy. Three more, not two more, three more unique abilities to this guy. That's gonna be really interesting. That's gonna be really interesting. And okay, so his Z ability is pretty, it's all right. It's, it's not the best. It's only saying strike defense. Strain strike defense is not bad, but you know, back like now we have units that does double Z abilities, right? They have like strike defense and blast defense, but this isn't bad. Uh, it's meh, it's meh, you know what I'm saying? It's meh, but main ability. He inflicts attribute downgrade to plus 40 to blast damage received. So they probably might add some other stuff in here as right here. Maybe uh, he gets 50 key in a blue card right here. Maybe they might do that. I don't know. But the fact that they have to add three more uh, unique abilities to this man is going to be interesting. So, yeah, it's pretty dope that we're finally getting this man to get a Zenkai. Like, he's actually going to be usable. 
uh, for the people that maxed them out and everything and use them for the free to play Zenkai Goku. Make sure you guys go to the rare metal shop. I'm going to show you guys right here if the game can load. Make sure you guys go to the, he's going to be in the rare metal shop, right? And then he's going to be here, right? You got to exchange rare metals for uh, for his for this Goku event, right? So I mean for this Goku, right? So that's going to be pretty lit uh, that he's getting a Zenkai. Now I'm curious to see how they're going to Zenkai him. Is it gonna, like, are they going to have a special event for him where we kind of did the same thing as 21? Uh, free to play 21 right uh, where they just made up an event and then you kind of have to grind them there and everything I feel like that's gonna be the case. They're not gonna make him. He's, he's a free to play unit They're not gonna make him summonable, right? You're not gonna spend CC on him, but in terms of his Z ability Usually what they do for free to play players is all right. I'm gonna bring up this example right here I kind of want to just get as much. I kind of really want to get an in-depth on like his thing. So let, let's pull up Namku, right? Uh, let's pull up him. Okay, right so he does Frieza, uh, Frieza Blue. So he's gonna make Namagoku even stronger. But when they do for free to play Zenkai, you notice that their Zenkai ability it usually does 20 to 25 percent, right? This is free to play 21. But if you're if there's like a, if they're like a pay to play one where you have to spend CC, their Z ability is like 35 to 40, right? So this guy's a free to play unit. So he's gonna basically have the Blue Frieza Saga with the Zenkai ability of this number. It's not going to be the 35 to 40. It's going to be like the 20 to 25 because he's a free to play unit. And yeah, that's what they pretty much do for free to play unit. They really kind of like cut their Z abilities in half, which kind of sucks. But it's interesting that they did blue Frieza Saga. So we type in blue Frieza Sagas. Let's go here. Let's see all the units that he was Zenkai buff. Uh, let's see. Blue Frieza. Blue. Where is it at? Where are you at? Blue Frieza Saga. Okay. So we look at here these are pretty much all the blue frieza sagas he's gonna be he's gonna be buffing he's gonna have him he's actually really good frieza actually really good him he's actually he's all right um raccoon he's pretty much gonna be like the top <laughs> units that's gonna get the zenkai buff but also we can take in the fact is this goku actually is gonna get can also get triple zenkai buff because if you run him with bardock bardock also does zenkai abilities for sans and this guy does sans as well and then he's gonna have zenkai buff for himself as well so he can get triple zenkai buff as well which is pretty nuts it is pretty nuts right so this, this goku pretty interesting he actually has some you know solid things about him i'm really looking for him the fact that the first unit the first free-to-play unit we have we can finally use him as a zenkai unit that's gonna be pretty dope that's gonna be pretty dope so make sure you guys stock up on blue souls red souls your zenkai souls super souls all that stuff because i feel like he's gonna be coming out next week maybe or honestly when the ante comes out who knows but just prepare for him make sure you stock up on your rare models so you can get him to 14 stars and everything and all that stuff so yeah man that's it with this video me just breaking down this free to play zenkai goku i'm super happy super 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 happy so yeah man that's it for the video like comment subscribe it's been more grill man and i'm out peace